All right, so let's go on to our first drill tab. And here we're going to be looking at sum and average, two functions that are really helpful um, in all kinds of analysis. Uh, but if we're looking at a range of numbers and want to quickly tally up the total or the average, of course, these two are going to be really useful. So if we look at the sum function, the sum function automatically adds up all of the numbers in a specified cell range. So without the sum functions, in order to take the total sum of all of these revenue figures for 2019 through 2023, we would have to type in equals C5 plus D5 plus E5 plus F5 plus G5. Obviously, that's tedious, and imagine if we had 20 numbers or 50 numbers or hundreds of numbers. The sum function allows us to quickly add up that entire range. So in order to use the sum formula, we're going to type in equals sum, open parentheses. Then I want to select this whole range from C5 through G5. So I'm going to use my left arrow key to get into cell G5, then hold down the shift button while pressing the left arrow key until I get to cell C5. Now you can see here that it's indicating that I've selected the range C5 through G5. And that's what I want, so I'll do close parentheses, press enter, and there we have our sum of all revenues for 2019 through 2023. Another way that I could add that sum function is uh, Excel actually has this really helpful quick sum where if you hit Command Shift T, it automatically decides or chooses what sum range you want to include in that formula. And if you hit F2, you see that it's doing the same exact thing that it would do as if I typed it. It's kind of a really magical little shortcut. You still always want to check that it's pulling the right range because sometimes it's a little bit off, um, but that, that uh, shortcut is pretty handy to know. And again, that's Command-Shift-T, and that'll do a really quick summation for you. Now, if you wanted to take the average gross profit from 2019 through 2023, the process is exactly the same. And here we're going to type in average. And as you can see, as I start to type in a formula, you can actually see some of Excel's suggestions based on what I'm typing. I want to choose average, so I can either click on that or press the tab key to automatically fill in whatever Excel has pre-selected for me. And then same thing here. I'm gonna use my left key, my left arrow key, then shift, left arrow, left arrow, left arrow, left arrow, and press close parentheses to get my average. Now one really handy thing here is if I just wanted to really quickly see those stats rather than put in a formula, I could select that range and I want you to look all the way down here in the bottom right. It says that the average of the cells that I've selected is 180 and it also shows the sum is 900. And if I look over here, look down at the bottom, you can see the sum is 10,300, which matches the sum that we've calculated. And you can quickly see the average here as well. You can also see that we've selected five cells. And this is handy to know, uh, just if you wanted to really quickly eyeball the average or how many cells you're selecting or the sum. So this is the sum and average uh, formula.